New tonight, a state lawmaker accused of sexually assaulting two teenagers has officially now resigned from office. Senator Tony Navarrete's resignation comes days after his arrest amid growing public pressure for him to step down. Political editor Dennis Welch is live with the very latest tonight. Dennis. Yeah, and Senator Navarrete, he was first elected back in 2016 and was considered a rising star in Democratic politics. Now he's facing seven felony counts related to sex crimes with involving children that could land him in prison for decades. Specifically, Navarrete has been charged with one count of child molestation, five counts of sexual conduct with a minor, and one count of attempting to commit molestation of a child. And according to court documents, Navarrete apologized to one of the victims, who is now 16 years old, in a phone conversation that was recently recorded by Phoenix police. And in the days following his arrest, Democratic as well as Republican lawmakers and Governor Doug Ducey all demanded he step down. In the end, Navarrete sent this short message to state Senate President Karen Fan that simply read, effective immediately, I am officially resigning my post as Arizona State Senator for District 30. And since that arrest, it appears that Navarrete is going to lose his job where he worked as a community liaison for a local charity. And he was also facing the possibility of an ethics investigation. But now that he has stepped down from office, that seems like a moot point right now. Guys, back to you. Dennis, I know he uh, represented parts of North and West Phoenix and part of Glendale, too. So what's the process like for picking his replacement now? Yeah, and that's going to be a big. Uh, the, the county board of supervisors are going to play a big role in this now over the next week seven days, they're going to put together a community panel that will then go through candidates and pick three potential people to fill Navarrete's spot. Now, those three potential candidates will then be submitted back to the Board of Supervisors, who will then pick from them, and that should happen probably within about three, four weeks from now.